The agreement between the North Korea and Russia to send North Korean troops provides for bilateral benefits. In particular, Russia allegedly pledged to pay high salaries to the military, reports the Korean Herald. Korean MP Wee Sung Luk, who was Seoul's ambassador to Russia, said in a commentary to the Korea Herald that joining the war against Ukraine was not a bad deal at all for North Korea. According to him, the financial and food crisis in the North Korea are largely resolved thanks to Russian compensation for its contribution to the military effort against Ukraine. According to North Korean intelligence, in exchange for the North Korean military, Russia has pledged to supply 600 to 700,000 tons of rice per year to the North Korea, pay $2,000 salaries to North Korean soldiers involved in the war against Ukraine, and share space technology. Moreover, the countries agreed to involve Russia in combat operations on the Korean peninsula in the event of war. Recently, the world was shocked by the information that North Korea sent thousands of its military personnel to Russia. Ukrainian intelligence reports that their number may reach more than 10,000. The Financial Times noted that some North Korean soldiers are already in the Kursk region of Russia, about 50 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. In response, South Korea announced the possibility of increasing military support for Ukraine. Seoul also emphasized that the North Korea has requested Russian technologies related to tactical nuclear weapons. If North Korean soldiers go into Ukraine, it would be the first time a third country puts boots on the ground in the war. Other countries on both sides of the divide have sent military aid, including weapons and training. Iran has supplied Russia with drones and Western nations have provided Ukraine with modern weapons and financial and humanitarian assistance. The United States say some of those troops have already moved near Ukraine's border in the Kursk region, where Moscow's forces have struggled to push back a Ukrainian incursion. We've not yet seen these troops deploy into combat against Ukrainian forces, but we would expect that to happen in the coming days. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said at a news conference with Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin and their South Korean counterparts. Blinken said Russia has been training North Korean soldiers in artillery, drones and basic infantry operations, including trench clearing, indicating that they fully intend to use these forces in frontline operations. Ukraine is preparing as though combating North Korea in its territory is inevitable. For Thriller, some of the most memorable touches originated with Jones, who recruited Eddie Van Halen for a guitar solo on the genre-fusing Beat It and brought in Vincent Price for a ghoulish voiceover on the title track. Thriller sold more than 20 million copies in 1983 alone and has contended with the Eagles' greatest hits 1971 to 1975, among others, as the best-selling album of all time. The list of his honors and awards fills 18 pages in his 2001 autobiography, Q, including 27 Grammys at the time, now 28, an Honorary Academy Award and an Emmy for Roots. He also received France's Legion d'honneur, the Rudolf Valentino Award from the Republic of Italy and a Kennedy Center tribute for his contributions to American culture. He was the subject of a 1990 documentary, Listen Up, the Lives of Quincy Jones, and a 2018 film by daughter Rashida Jones. His memoir made him a best-selling author. A preliminary investigation suggested that the bus, which was reportedly in a dilapidated condition, skidded before tumbling down a 60-meter deep gorge, Powell said. A number of passengers managed to escape or were thrown out by the impact, and then alerted authorities about the accident. India has some of the highest road death rates in the world, with hundreds of thousands of people killed and injured annually. Most crashes are blamed on reckless driving, poorly maintained roads and aging vehicles. In July, at least 18 people died after a double-decker passenger bus collided with a milk truck in Uttar Pradesh state. In May, a bus carrying Hindu pilgrims skidded and rolled into a deep gorge on a mountainous highway in Indian-controlled Kashmir killing at least 21 people.